back to the channel. Welcome to Paper and Moose. Today, I went to a giant church flea market. And when I say giant, I mean giant. There were tents. There were things outside the tents. There was inside the church building. It started at 8. People were there at like 6.30 or 7. Boxes and boxes of treasure. So what did I find? Keep watching to find out. <laughs> She's heavy. What's yellow? 50 cents? Subtraction division. Is that two? You want like colors and shapes and stuff, right? That's what I thought. Okay, I thought so. Me too. But I'll keep looking. Bye. These are all new. Yeah, I thought so. Because her kids only three. Christmas bunny. This one. A gremlin sticker. What do you think of this one? You would know better. She's three years old. I mean, is it worth getting for a dime? Honestly, probably. I know these things go for like ten bucks. Okay, so she likes it, she likes if she don't, she don't. Yeah. Okay. You want ones without barcodes. It says four to five. Ooh, eight, 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 eight. This one has a barcode. What year is this? Yeah, she said the same thing. 1981. Yeah. Michael Jackson sticker. That's how you know it's old. How God gives us chocolate. How does he give us chocolate? That's funny. Cookie Monster. A Sleepy Story. I had that. Oh, it's all ducked from like on um, a water game. This box looked like it had good stuff in it. New Mexico. Land of Enchantment. Oh, it's one of those stingers. 
first. As you're shopping here in the bargain tent, don't forget that everything is three for a dollar. Unless it's a piece of clothing, a pair of shoes, a hardback book, or a purse, then it's a dollar. As you can see, I did fairly well, I think. This is the first time that I have been to this church flea market and it, it was big. There were, I didn't even go in some of the tents. I didn't go in the clothing tent or the like sport. No, I did walk briefly through the sport tent. The, the main church sale inside the church opened at eight, but there were all these tents outside. There was also a furniture, two furniture tents. Um, and it's like, well, what time does that open? Do you open at 6.30? Do you open at seven? Um, I got there around seven and people were already there. People had bags full of stuff. So what did I miss out on? I don't know, but I think I did fairly well. It was a bit overwhelming. My first stop was at the kids books. So I figured why not? Maybe I could find some vintage, you know, cute, um, you know, books with the nice illustrations. So I did pick up a few things. Um, picked up three little golden books. So there's Mickey Mouse's Picnic. Oh, I didn't think it was that bad when I bought it. Um, Five Little Firemen. That has some cute illustrations. And then this Counting Rhymes, which looks a little bit old. 1946. You know, it, it kind of, oh, look how cute that one is. Three young rats. I wish I would have brushed up on my little golden book knowledge. There weren't, I went through all the little golden books there. So I picked those up. The Masters of the Universe golden books with He Man. These are 1985. Mattel, Skeletor, you know, He-Man, people are back into He-Man now. And so I thought, you know, these might do okay online. And for the price, you couldn't go wrong. Hardback books were three for a dollar. And I think soft cover, it may have been five for a dollar. Anyway, it was cheap. Then I also, I did pick up this was a little damp. These, the Wizard of Oz books, because I love the covers. The Pat just says The Land of Oz, a sequel to The Wizard of Oz, The Patchwork Girl of Oz. And I wasn't sure how old these were. 
Oh, there's Jack the pumpkin, the pumpkin head. He was in, if you've ever seen Return to Oz, which I've talked about before, he was in there. That was a great, oh, maybe they'll have a picture of Ozma. Jack dolls next. Oh, there they are. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure, you know, how old these were. See, this is not, this is copyright 1904. That can't, that can't be right. Well, I know it's not right. Because I did look up them online. Because up here it's $1.95. And... It looks like these were printed in the 50s. So there were these three large ones, and then there were two smaller ones. Rinkitink in Oz, which I have never heard of in my life, and then The Magic of Oz. These are a little bit different. Um, there he is again. Oh, there's Oz. I don't know if that's Ozma or not. This is 1980. So, we'll see. You know, if anything, you know, I know the larger book, books seem to do well. Um, if the smaller ones don't, leave my little cousin will want to read them. Because Oz books are great. So those were first good finds. Then it was kind of like, where do I go next? Um, the 110, everything was three for a dollar. And there were just boxes and boxes. It was raining. They had to cover up some boxes with tarps. Some boxes were underneath boxes. They hadn't been open. So, I mean, you honestly probably could have spent all day there looking. There were people all around. No one was really pushing and shoving. But the thing was how my strategy was if I found a box that I thought that I found maybe one neat vintage thing in, that I stayed with that box and I looked through it until I completely looked through the box because you could miss a lot of stuff. And I think that's what people did. I did find one thing when I went to the tent, three for a dollar tent a second time, and it was right out in the open and no one even picked it up. And that could probably pay for everything that I bought. So I will show you that in a little bit. So some of the things that I did find because, I mean, they're vintage Christmas, and why? Why not? I have seen these before. So, we have Mr. Santa and Mr. Snowman. The styrofoam head jar, you know, candy jar thing. Oh, his head's pretty much stuck in there. His comes out a little bit. But, nice shape. I probably won't keep those. I'll probably take those to the flea market. I also picked up this, which I liked. It's a cat with a ball of yarn. And then it's marked in Japan on the bottom. So, yeah. is this worth to put online or keep it for my Halloween decor? I think probably that because the cat has a nice look to it. So again, three for a dollar. So a dollar for all those three things. Let's keep working on the three for a dollar room. I caramba. So that wasn't that. Okay. Let's stick with Christmas. I found him the second time around as well. I didn't realize until after that he does have some damage. The bottom of his candy cane is broken. And then his hat has some chips, but those can easily be repaired by with just some paint. Same with the scarf. The candy cane, you know, if I take maybe some modeling clay to fix it, or even just if I put paint it red, but he's cute. You know, someone can buy him, light him up and he would be good to go. So again, I might touch him up a little bit and then he will go to the flea market. Because I do like him, but I don't know if I have room for him. Of course, there's always room for vintage Christmas, but I think someone would enjoy him. And I actually have another snowman that I put out, so I picked up this, which I thought was cute. A vintage Rudolph stocking. This I will most likely keep. 
I like it. I do have some other stockings that I hang going down my stairwell. So this will add to it. I mean, when stuff is three for a dollar, you can't go wrong. Well, you probably can if you <laughs> buy a whole bunch, but Halloween again, this ceramic goes to the pumpkin. This is probably newer, but it's a cute little, little figure. And again, I needed something to put things in as I was walking around. So I just picked up this basket, Halloween. Then again, because three for a dollar, I needed a couple more things. I found this dog, which actually kind of matches another little vintage uh, made in Japan dog that I have, the ceramic puppy, a flower frog, nice green color. And it still has the sticker on the bottom, Daisy Flower Holder, number 53. Oh, and it has a little like design just with some markings along the rim. I don't know if you can see that. So those for three for a dollar. And then I found this. It's an old mirror. Oh, you can see the camera. <laughs> but, I mean, the reason you can tell it's old, look at the back. And also just with the, the wear to... Oh, that sounds dark. If you ever find a mirror that, you know, it, it looks like it's, I want to say, rusting inside, that is just, that, that tells you that it's old. So never try and take that off. But I, I like the frame. And because it's old, I had to pick it up. Again, three for a buck. Now the item that was also in the three for a dollar section, which I think will hopefully pay for everything that I purchased today, was this guy there is some damage the lid was up like this and then this was just positioned different so i like the color of it i looked on the bottom and it's this bennington potters i don't know if you can see and so i quick took a look and there were a few listed, and the ones that were listed were listed for like a hundred some dollars. Um, but some of the ads had two. Now, because it does have a couple chips, I obviously cannot get a hundred dollars for it, and it's just a single one. But even if I put it, you know, 50 or best offer, or 60 dollars or best offer, I will make my money back <laughs> because I paid what 30 33 cents for it so hopefully this will do well and i will have every you know all of my tr other treasures paid for so that three for a dollar tent was really great oh no that was a dollar tent so i i'm actually considering going back because it's for the next two days just to see what is left because there still is a lot of digging to do then also inside, this was in the holiday section. It was a dollar. There was a sticker on it that said that it has some stains. I didn't open it up to see, you know, if it was old or how many stars. And I don't want to unravel it all now. But it definitely has like an older flag. So I think it's a nice shape. So I can, I will keep this. I'll have to count how many stars on it. Let's put this back. Let's put that down here on top of that. What else did I get? This guy, just because he looked neat. Um, he was three fifty, a little bit probably more expensive than I wanted to pay. No markings, but. I think he has great color, a great look to him. It's a planter, let's put some decorative pieces in it, but definitely need a look. And then I picked up all sorts of little things. There was a basket filled with bags, so I just kind of went to town on it. Some napkin ring birds. 
I don't know if you can see. Oh, they do have some damage, but they're pretty cute. These Mark Japan, um, these are candle holders or candle, candle buddies. You just put them like around your candle. I guess it could be for a napkin. They're cute. They're definitely vintage. Um, what else did I buy? These, we have little Santas, a little Red Riding Hood. And then all these bags were a dollar to a dollar fifty. So that guy's cute. We have a little Red Riding Hood girl. And there's another Santa in there. What is this? I don't even remember. Oh, I did find belt buckles. I should put a sticker on it. So we have U.S. Postal Service. Firefighter belt buckle. A pin celebrating 100 years of the Statue of Liberty. Another U.S. mail belt buckle, 1980. That one has a little bit more wear on it. So we'll see how those do. So yeah, it was a whole hodge, hodge of things. Oh, I bought this for a whopping $2.50. It's BHS, so I'm thinking it's Bangor High School. I wish it was PHS because that would be for Phillipsburg, but you know, for $2.50, why not? Whether I will keep it or sell it, to be determined. Then I purchased, these were in a, a, the dollar tent. Um, I'm not gonna take both of them out. I bought this because I'm sure at Hobby Lobby, this would cost about $25. And I can use it for the fall and for Halloween to decorate in. And it was a dollar. So I did buy these outfits. They're definitely, vintage and at first i couldn't tell exactly like what they were what costumes they were but then i realized it's for a clown <laughs> so for all of you that love clowns if you would want a homemade vintage clown costume i know where you can get one or three actually so there's this one we have another nice red one Um, that one even came, what's this? Oh, there's, well, that was the other one. This is a smaller one and it even has, oh geez, dare I do this? Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Okay. We're going to do this. I've committed. So you can't turn back. Yeah, I did get another one. Oh, this one has bells on it. This is the first one that I saw and I thought, how neat is this? And even in the hat, oh, I guess the pom-poms came off. It even has a hat to go with it. Look how nice. All right, we got to commit here. I'm going to look like a fool. Why not? Oh, geez. These are all tied together. I should have been more prepared, but yeah, these are all a dollar. A piece. So, I th I wish they would have had like more vintage Halloween, but these may have been the only ones. All right, let's try this on. Dare I do this? <laughs> oh my gosh! I might know what I'm gonna be for Halloween now. <gasps> I could be one of those where it's like the face is white and then it has the red circles on the cheeks. And on the nose, hmm, how's it look? So I can pass those up, of course. Oh my gosh, I have so much. I bought, I'm saving probably the best for last though. This was a whole box or tote, I don't know why they tape everything, of comics. 
and it was two dollars so about two dollars i can't go wrong reggie we have more archie these were 12 cents at one point a lot of archie oh snow white and the seven dwarves archie's madhouse that's me with the aliens oh more walt disney daisy and donald super goofy so I will have to look through these and see if any are worth. That one's cute. 1959. If any are, you know, are worth money. Scamp. Is that like Lady and the Tramps? Puppy? Scamp. Flintstone and Pebbles. Pebbles and Bam Bam. Little Dot. So again, I'll have to look and see. Sad Sack, the last special. If any are worth anything but even you know if they're only worth a couple dollars online if I take them to the flea market and sell them for a dollar a piece I made my money and it was paper and speaking of paper never thought I would find some I was waiting in line to pay for some of the items and I looked down and there is this a whole box of ephemera and the total was, of course, why do they tape it? Why do you tape paper on paper? It was old paper lot. $2. Yes, please. So I haven't looked through this. Penn College. Ooh. Motor, November 1940 magazine. That's pretty neat. Um, brief guide to the Smithsonian Institution. I don't want to go through all of these. J.B. Kramer, 50 studies for the piano. We have some religious items. Let's see. I just want to see if there's anything. Oh, what's that? Out of My Dreams from Oklahoma, some sheet music, Whispering Hope. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> I guess it's sheet music day again. Deo, Beetlejuice, that was a great movie. It's actually on Broadway now. I, you know, I again, I, I wasn't going to go through and let, like, let me look through all the paper for $2, Pocono Record, Holiday Songbook, um, two dollars you you can't go wrong so yeah it looks like there's more you can see sheet music so I'm on a run Superman the movie can you read my mind how's oh, the strawberry shortcake no um, I'm on a run with sheet music it seems We'll just quick look at this one. South of the border, down Mexico way, out of this world. A song by Bing. Thank your lucky stars, how sweet you are. Hola. I sing and learn Spanish. Who would have thought? So yeah, I mean, $2 again, it's $2. It will be fun to look through this and see what there is. This is pretty. Mary Miller, who, Sunny, that's a nice graphic. That looks very Art Deco-ish. Two different worlds, clouds. Let's do one more. Will you remember? So, a lot of different stuff you know i i didn't know what to expect going to this flea market i've never been there before i would definitely go again next year because i think it, it would be worth it and i think you know if you spend if you really take your time and you kind of strategize i mean you i think you could find a lot a lot of stuff i mean i i think i did fairly well here you know a lot of little tchotchkes but okay saving some vintage Christmas, finding some neat Halloween stuff. Um, 
paper. Never would have thought I would have found paper there, but I did. So pretty good day. And hopefully that one piece of um, cookware, I guess you would call it, the pottery piece will pay for everything. So let me know what your favorite piece was. Let me know if you saw anything in the video and you're like, oh, why didn't you pick that up? You know, I there's probably a lot more I could have picked up, but you can only shove so much in your bag and carry so much in your arms when you're at these things. But definitely a fun day. It made me look forward to other flea markets this weekend. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends if they're into vintage, if they're into paper and seeing what other flea markets around the you know United States are like. So pass the word along. So I hope you all have a great day. And until I see you next time, thanks again for watching and see you later.